What's up guys, in this video we're going to go over 7 to 9 high protein, low calorie recipes that you can use every day to meet your goals. I guarantee at least one of these meals becomes a staple in your everyday diet. I think there's 9, it might be 7 or 8, but I'll throw up on the screen right now how many I did end up recording. If you guys enjoy the video and find value from it, please hit the like button and comment something down below and subscribe for weekly videos. All right, guys, recipe number one is chocolate chip protein pancakes. If you use chocolate chips, it's going to be 531 calories and 45 grams of protein, but without chocolate chips, it's only 380 calories. To make these, you're going to need 45 grams of Kodiak Cakes pancake mix, one scoop of any protein powder you like. I'm using uh, Rise's peanut butter cup right now. I've used cinnamon, chocolate, vanilla, any works. Some chocolate chips one egg and sugar-free syrup. I've tried a lot of these, Maple Groves Farms, the best one I have tried. All right, we're gonna start by cracking an egg and adding a fourth cup of water into a bowl and mixing it up. Yeah. Then when it's all mixed up and the yolk is broken and the water and the egg are mixed, add 45 grams of the Kodiak Cakes pancake mix. All right, then you don't need the scale anymore. Add in a scoop of your protein powder. Then you take that and you mix them all together thoroughly. Okay. And now we're ready to go to the pan. Quick side note before we hop into the pan, start cooking. Use as much or as little as, uh, chocolate chips as you'd like to, but I'd recommend using 35 grams if you want chocolate in every single bite. But if you want this meal to be lower calories, then just use less chocolate or no chocolate at all. But let's be honest, who doesn't want chocolate in every bite, right? All right, next step, spray your pan. And you can either use the same measuring cup we used to do the water to make perfectly portion sized pancakes, or you can just pour it in like I'm about to right now and wing it. Let these sit for like one to two, maybe three minutes, then give it a flip. This is so good. You guys have to try it. It's definitely one of my favorite recipes. All right, next up we have the 380 calorie pizza with 50 grams of protein. All you're gonna need for this, Joseph's lavash bread, some pizza sauce. This one's from Walmart. Just make sure it is, you get the one that is either 25 or 30 calories per quarter cup. A fourth cup measuring cup, spoon, and of course your fat-free cheese, cheddar or mozzarella. I usually only use mozzarella, but we have both here today because we don't have that much mozzarella left. What you're gonna do is set the oven to 300 degrees and then start making the pizza. The first step is taking out a flatbread and putting it on the tray. Step two, take your sauce, take the measuring cup, pour that in there. Always overflow it a little bit because the more sauce the better. Now the spreading depends. I spread it to the absolute edge of the uh, flatbread. If you like your crust crispy and uh, honestly a little bit flaky, then I would not do that. But if you don't want flaky crispy crust, spread it all the way to the edge of the flatbread. And that's what it should look like. Step two is measuring out your cheese. And you can also use pe turkey pepperoni or regular pepperoni, but I'd recommend turkey, higher protein, lower calories. But Next step is measuring out your cheese. So for this recipe, it calls for 100 grams. We're gonna measure out 100 grams and then sprinkle that on top. Yeah. There's the cheese all sprinkled in. And now we're gonna throw it into the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. If you like your crust and pizza crispy as hell and super crunchy, then I'd put it in there for 13 to 15 minutes. But I like mine malleable and foldable little bit um, soft, so I'm gonna put it in there for 10 minutes. So 10 minutes if you like it soft, 13 to 15 if you like it more crispy. So today we are making French toast, low calorie, high protein French toast. It's gonna come out to 377 calories 
and 21 grams of protein. What you're gonna need is 250 grams of egg whites, four slices of bread, one splash of vanilla, it's not necessary though, two to three spanks of cinnamon, this is gonna be necessary. Have to spank it as well. And then this is optional, but one to four packets of Splenda, just gonna make it a bit sweeter. And then of course, top it with some sugar-free syrup. All right, now let's cook it. After you got it all mixed, spray your pan, then start dipping the bread in the batter. Submerge it for like three to 10 seconds. Make sure it absorbs everything and then throw it on the pan. So you just watched that massacre of the French toast. This is the worst batch of French, French toast I've ever made. The pan was super sticky for some reason. So no idea what's going on with that. But either way, let's get into it. So even though the cooking was terrible, it still tastes amazing. Definitely give this a go. Super low calorie, high protein, good for any time of the day. Have chickpea pasta and turkey meatballs. It's gonna be 380 calories and 30 grams of protein. All you're gonna need is some turkey meatballs or regular meatballs. I didn't get turkey this time, they didn't have it. And then some chickpea pasta. I go with Bonza, the brand. And you can get uh, the spaghetti, rigatoni, whatever. They didn't have spaghetti, so I'm going with rigatoni this time. It's gonna be six meatballs and two ounces, which is one serving of the pasta. And no matter which pasta you get, they're all the same amount of calories and protein per serving. And then a half cup of tomato and basil pasta sauce. They actually didn't have any, so I'm using no sauce for this one. So go measure out a serving of the pasta and bring um, a pot with some water in it. Start bringing it to a boil and then dump in the pasta. And then you're gonna, once it starts boiling, count down from eight minutes. While your pasta is boiling, put six meatballs on a plate or bowl and put that in the microwave for one minute and they'll be cooked and ready to go. Kinda sucks with no sauce, but it's still gonna be delicious. Would've been better with some tomato and basil sauce, but still good. All right, for the Greek yogurt bowl, that's 458 calories and 34 grams of protein. All you're gonna need is some Greek yogurt. I recommend Chobani vanilla or strawberry. Some berries, today we got blueberries, and then your favorite type of granola. Right now I'm using kind peanut butter clusters. Add 300 grams of Greek yogurt to the bowl. There we go, 301. And then 50 grams of fruit. So in this one we're using blueberries. There we go, 50 and then 50 grams of granola. All right, now we're gonna be making vegetable and egg fried rice. It's gonna be 463 calories and 31 grams of protein. All you're gonna need is three eggs, soy sauce, 50 grams of uncooked rice, and two cups of frozen vegetables. All right, step one is to get 50 grams of uncooked white rice or brown rice, but the, the cooking method is gonna be for white rice. So get two cups of water, put that in a pot, and start getting it to a boil, but throw the rice in before it gets to a boil. And then after it gets to a boil, I just put the rice into a pot with two cups of water. After it gets to a boil, what you're gonna do is turn the heat down to the lowest setting and let it simmer for 18 minutes, but you're gonna wanna have a lid on it that uh, the whole time. And then after 18 minutes, take it off heat, so no heat, but keep the lid on for five to 10 minutes. All right, it's been 15 minutes since the rice has been cooking or on simmer with the lid on. Take a look right there. And now we're gonna let it sit without heat for five to 10 more minutes. And while we're doing that, we're gonna cook the vegetables and eggs. Grab two cups of your frozen vegetables and throw them on the pan. Just a bunch of frozen vegetables we're gonna throw in there. And then once the vegetables are fully cooked or almost fully cooked, we're gonna throw in the eggs. And then once the eggs are almost fully cooked, we'll throw in the rice. Mix everything together, put it in a bowl, put it on soy sauce on it, mix it up, and enjoy it. All right, so this next recipe is gonna be the only one that 
you guys can talk shit about or give me shit for because it's going to be aesthetically disgusting. But I honestly love it. And if you like not taking a lot of time to prepare your food, you might like this as well. But definitely uh, shit on me in the comments for making this meal because it is almost as ridiculous as my spaghetti tacos. So it is tacos. And to make this meal, it makes two servings. Each serving is 333 calories and 38 grams of protein. So definitely amazing, low calorie, high protein. It makes two servings. So what you're gonna need is 97 or 93% lean ground beef, 7% fat, 40 calorie per slice Velveeta cheese, fat-free cheese. I would go with cheddar for making this. And then carb balance flour tortillas. There's, these are the small ones. They're 70 calories per tortilla. And taco seasoning is the last ingredient for this. All right, step one, throw the ground beef into the pan. All right, after it's halfway cooked, throw in your taco seasoning. Cheese is melting, set up your tacos like this, fold them, put the American cheese slice right in the middle. These are definitely the lowest effort tacos you can make. So if you like quick and easy food, high in protein, low in calorie, this is definitely a meal you should try out. Um, but still roast me in the comments if you think these are um, horrid. All right, next up, this is not a recipe, but an easy meal hack. It takes two and a half minutes to make. Is these lightly breaded chicken breast chunks from Just Bear. This is what five ounces of it looks like. Uh, touching the scale. Yeah, five ounces of it looks like. Uh, this is 267 calories and 27 grams of protein. Definitely add some sh uh, no sugar added ketchup to this too. And it's definitely an amazing meal, high protein and low calorie. You just place the nugs in a microwave safe container, then pop it in the microwave for two and a half minutes. Here we have a apple microwave, I know. Wow, super cool, right? Yeah, just put it in there for two and a half minutes. It's easy, low, pro low calorie, high protein snack or meal. All right, so next up, just like the chicken nuggets, this is not really a recipe, but it's more of something to go buy and pick up. So it's grilled Mediterranean chicken skewers from West End Cuisine. There's 75 calories per chicken skewer and 12 grams of protein. So if you eat four of these, it's 300 calories and 48 grams of protein. Try to get it to focus in. Oh yeah, look at that. These are absolutely delicious. Highly recommend picking these and the chicken nuggets up. One is 75 calories and 12 grams of protein and four of them are 300 calories and 48 grams of protein. Absolute life hack. All right, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video and took value from it, please hit the like button, comment something down below, and subscribe for weekly videos.